Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. And we know the vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. No. It's a mainland. Welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctor, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but the work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help them? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Food in front. Dock Let's take back. a look. Mm. Great shot. Mm. Andre. Everywhere. It's coming. Shop's got everything you need. In the deep fall, there's things out there. I hope the harbor's being good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. What's the history of this place? Well, this whole dock used to belong to the Mariner, and the fog started getting thicker. Family by family, homestead by homestead, people were kicked out of their homes inland. The mariner was kind enough. Don't let the island catch you off guard. By my guns. Food, stim packs, only stuff. Captain? I hope the harbor's being good to you. What's the history of this place? Well, this whole dock used to belong to the Mariner when the fog started getting thicker. Family by family, homestead by homestead, people were kicked out of their homes inland. The Mariner was kind enough to let people stay. The harbor just kind of grew out of that charity. What's there to do in town? Brooks sells general goods. Teddy writes in back of his shop, and he can patch you up if you need it. Besides that, the last plank's a popular stop for booze and what have you. And lastly, well, if you need a gun, see Alan Lee. You know of anyone could use some help? It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. Just tell me the problem. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the mire lurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it.
What exactly are these fog condensers? How do they work? Well, I'm no engineer, but the way it was explained to me, each fog condenser pulls in the air around it and then condenses it into liquid. The point being, the fog doesn't get past them. They make a barrier that protects the town. No fog means that all the nasty things living in it stay in it. They don't venture out too often. The fogs are home, I guess. The fog condensers eat up a lot of power, but we've got a wind farm that takes care of that. As long as the turbines stay charged, we stay safe. Am I gonna need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're gonna have to find him first. I'm not making any promises. I'm not a mechanic. It's not a complicated repair, just installing some replacement components. Believe me, if Howard can do it, anyone can. All that I ask is that you hurry. I don't have to tell you how important our water supply is. <laughs> 